trying to escape getting hit in the head. <laughs> Holy cow, I'm gonna dehydrate out here. <laughs> Here's a happy guy. Just to throw some balls. All right, now you do. Go to our favorite place. Oh, yeah, yeah. Make special memories together. I'll be your company now and forever. Folks, it is day two of our fun, exciting Hawaii adventures, and today we are taking it to the North Shore. We're starting out our fun with Green World Valley Coffee Farm, then we're heading over to Dole Plantation, we're heading to Ali Eva for some Giovanni's shrimp truck, and who knows what other stuff we're gonna get into, but it's loud here, isn't it? So come join us as we have some fun. The beautiful, slightly sunny, slightly gloomy Hawaii Oahu at Green World Coffee Farm. Now, I don't know where my father is, but we're gonna play some zip chip first person. So, this is a zip chip. I'm not advertising. Look at that. Zip throw right at me. And I grab it. Look at these boys. What are they doing? I know, right? Oh, there's the old man too. Give it to the board. Give it to the board. <laughs> We made it to the Green World Coffee Farm and we're checking out all the coffee beans. There's a, <laughs> trying to escape getting hit in the head. The little coffee beans, all on the plants. Not exactly ripe. This is pretty cool. You get your coffee here, you come out to the farm, you can check out the farm. And on top of that, they got souvenirs, a little store, stuff to get, so. Um, cute little place to stop. You want some coffee, and little bagels, something like that too. Check it out. If not, you just saw what it is that's here and you don't have to check it out. But... <laughs> mango banana smoothie. Mm -hmm. I'm come to a coffee farm to get mango banana smoothies. We're going to the Dole Plantation. <laughs> <laughs> so here at the coffee farm, right here next to it, they're actually making the coffee in there. It smells pretty good. I don't drink coffee but very much, but it smells pretty darn good. Why are we standing here in the rain? <laughs> Did you do it? I found a homeless lady too. I <laughs>
no globe. Hydrate out here. <laughs> We're on a mission. <laughs> what are we doing? We already got one right here. Yeah. Jacob and Cassidy decided to follow us, but they didn't get this one. So we need to make sure we leave. We need to make sure we leave right when we get there. Right, we just got three of them. All right, now we're gonna go get the fourth one. Right, we have five. Going to our sixth one. I think we're doing good right now. We're making good progress. I don't think anyone is, is this high. No way. We got two more. I'm pretty sure they're both down there. We started far right. I don't know what we got. We did it in 20 minutes. Exactly. We got it at 10.51, clocked out at 11.11. 20 minutes too. Uh, <laughs> I'm be honest, I think we killed you guys. But. What do you mean killed us? We so did we did old people. Whatever. And then we're like, are we sure Jacob and Cassie? Whatever. You did that last time too. Oh really? It tastes good though. Fresh pineapple and coconut on that one. Mm. Oh, frame freeze. Yeah. You know, last time you had these canes, you and mom were fighting. In Hawaii last time. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
we made it to food trucks in Haleiwa and we are trying out a couple shrimp trucks today. We're trying out Giovanni's and Hono's. We're gonna see who tastes better. All right, we're gonna give honest opinion here. <laughs> let me eat. Let me eat. Here's a happy guy. <laughs> He's got his shrimp. He's happy. <laughs> All right, so Hono's gives you 10. Let's see. Giovanni's gives you 12. Okay, so Giovanni's got smaller shrimp. Hono's got bigger shrimp, so that's good. But I haven't done the taste test yet, so we'll check this. Hono's got a different taste in there, but uh, Giovanni's, I love their garlic. All right, honest opinion. Not for that price. Giovanni's still wins. Hono's got different flavor, but Giovanni's it's still wins. It's better tasting. Even the spicy one was pretty darn good. Giovanni's was better. I think better. it's all about the garlic. It still ends down Giovanni's. Giovanni's. We are going to be rating Giovanni shrimp and also a little add on Hono shrimp, which is right next to it and is trying to rival it. Okay, now first is Giovanni shrimp. This is the before and this is the after. <laughs> this is the scampi flavor, the, gar the, the classic garlic flavor. And I give it a solid nine, nine and a half out of ten. Pretty good. What really carries it though is the seasoning. Mm -hmm. The garlic, whatever they put, is equivalent to probably methamphetamine. <laughs> Just straight crack cocaine. That's basically what it is when you eat it. They do, they get two small dollops of rice, and they do not skip out on the seasoning. And they get 12 pieces of shrimp. For me personally, that's not a lot, but that's a healthy amount. Probably the best garlic shrimp I've ever had. Probably the best shrimp I've ever had. And then next, we're gonna rate the hot and spicy shrimp. I would give it a solid eight out of ten. I think the seasoning on it is definitely interesting. To some, it may be spicy. Just spice enjoyers, it's not that spicy. And lastly, we have Hono's. This is the before, and this is also the after, because no one wants to eat it. Six and a half out of 10. Uh, Giovanni's is way better, unfortunately. Way better. Unfortunately. Fortunately, way better. You think they would, ha they would be a good rival? Hey, if you want something mid though, it's $1.50 cheaper, and the line, there's no line at all. Bigger shrimp. Bigger shrimp. I just prefer Giovanni's, I'm just, it's disappointing because like when you've had Giovanni's and you've had this, like it's just hard. All right, those are my ratings. I low-key did just eat like seven of the shrimps. Oh, I rated a seven and yeah, but Giovanni's is better. Dude, Halo. what are you doing? <laughs> Oh no, I see a coconut right there. Litchi, litchi, oh litchi. wow, there's a coconut right there. Coconut, coconut. And she's buying lychee. We're having a lychee coconut party. Thank you, thank you. I need, I need some, huh? Waiamea Valley Falls um, Botanical Garden. It's about 
$25 to get in for adults, and I believe it was $15 for kids. Um, but if you've got 10 or more people, you can get it for $20 each for a student. And this place is a pretty big place, uh, but it's only like a three-quarter mile hike. It's all paved. And uh, at the end of the road, other than seeing the beautiful Jurassic Park type botanical garden that they have here, um, you have a waterfall at the end where you can swim in there. Um, there's a big pool. Just relax and get cool when it's so hot and humid out here. So, somewhere to go. <laughs> Gardens. I mean, it's literally Jurassic Park out here. These uh, plants and shrubs and everything else out here, huge um, elephant ear type stuff. I mean, they're big, monstrous things. Uh, if you're ever in the Waimea Valley, North Shore area, I would suggest highly recommend coming down and checking it out. You only need probably about an hour, but it just depends how long you take over there and want to sit down in the pool or just watch. But other than that, 30 minute walk at the most. Some of these, like the kids, can do it in 15. Look 
the Nikutama. And right there, that's the beef. Now, Mara got my udon. It's pretty good. That beef right there, definitely one of the best broth out there. And this Nikutama is pretty good too. The beef in general is pretty solid. I give the Nikutama uh, and the beef both eights, eight out of ten. It's pretty good udon. Much better than the last time. And we didn't have to wait in the long line. Eating twelve of them. losers would say. Hmm. 